me, it's Miss McCarthy. And if you know me, you know that I love math. And if there's anything I love more than math, it's teaching math. I live here in Orlando, Florida, and yes, Mickey and I are totally homies. I've been a math tutor for eight years, a teacher for six years, and this is my second year as a math coach. So I talk kind of fast, I love to laugh, and I am not your typical math teacher. So, why am I here? Because usually I am busy creating educational songs to make learning more fun for you. Well, I am here because I am excited to announce a new project. It's called How to Pass the Math, F-S-A. This is for students, it's for teachers, it's for parents. And what I am doing is I am making it my job to study the math FSA test item specifications for each and every math standard for grades three through five. I've posted a link to the same resource that I use in the description box below. Then I will post a video where I show you how to solve the types of problems that you will encounter for each standard. So as I'm showing you how to pass the math FSA, you'll probably be like, yo, Miss McCarthy, I wish I could have a copy of the same problems that you're working on. I've totally got you back because for each video, I will post a link in the description box below to my teacher store for you to download the same problems that I am working out. But it gets better. Are you ready for this? I will include not one, but two extra levels of practice with answers so that you can monitor your understanding because my goal is for you to be a pro at each standard and you can only be a pro if you practice. All right, everybody. Now it's time for our frequently asked questions that haven't been asked yet segment. This first question is from Dooby Dooby Dooba Perry the Platypus. Perry says, I don't live in Florida, so I don't take the FSA, but I have to take a test on the Common Core math standard, so will your videos help me? Perry, fabulous question, bro. The math standards in Florida are very similar to the Common Core math standards across the nation. So yes, I definitely think that these videos will help you. Dooby dooby dooba. Our next question is from OMG. It's Harry Potter, y'all. Be cool. Be cool. Deep breaths. I tried to post a comment on your video lesson, but it doesn't show up right away. I tried using the unlocking charm, Alohamora, but it still didn't work. You must have a tough spell on your comment section. Why is that? Well, thanks for bringing that up, Harry. So cool. First, let me say that I love interacting with you all in the comment section. However, I have to make sure that the comments are appropriate for everyone because I have tons of students reading them daily. So with that said, please comment, ask questions, make connections, shout out to your school, and be patient as I try to upload your comments as quickly as possible. Alrighty, so we have one more question, just one more question, and this one is in from Mal from The Descendants on Disney Channel. So cool! Mal writes, I noticed that most of your videos are targeted for third graders. Then she goes on to sing, If only there were videos for fourth and fifth graders, oh, if only. My pal, Mal, my Mal, Pow, great song, and here is the deal, yo. I am going to bust out these third grade lessons as quickly as possible so that I can move sequentially to fourth grade and finally to fifth grade. Cool beans? Yeah? All right. Okay, YouTubers, 
Those are all the questions that we have time for today. Now let's get busy learning and studying with me so that you all can become awesome at math. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment on this video, please. But before you go, let me leave you with this inspirational thought from a Chinese proverb. Teachers open the door, but you must enter by yourself. So here I go. I am opening up the door to help you be awesome at math. Will you enter? I hope so. I'll catch you guys later. 